And now, as we, as we heard before in the opening remarks by Ambassador Regev, we just signed a memorandum of understanding between our host, the IET, and IATI, the Israeli High Tech Association. Therefore, I'd like to welcome Corinne Meyer Rubinstein to the stage, who's going to talk about public private partnerships and give us a bit of an overview of another aspect of the Israeli ecosystem. Corinne, thank you. Thank you. So, thank you, Hugo, very much uh, for hosting me. Thank you, Nigel, from the IET for the great uh, signing ceremony earlier today. And thank you all for coming. I see a lot of uh, familiar uh, um, faces from Israel, from England, so good to be here. Um, my name is Karin Maya Rubinstein. I am the CEO and President of IATI, Israel Advanced Technology Industry, which is the, um, Israel's umbrella organization of the high tech and life science injury industries. We are, we are non-governmental, we are private entity. We are funded only by our 700 members who are the leaders of the Israeli ecosystem. I was asked to talk about the private-public partnership. I will give some number before it uh, so we can better understand. So as you can all know, you all know that in Israel we have around 5,000 startup, high tech and life science. 15% of the GDP in Israel is derived from the high tech industry, which is the highest contributor of the GDP growth. 49% of the industrial export in Israel is derived from the high-tech industry. It's a raise from last year, which was 44%. So it's good news and bad news. We are good news, we are complete, completely reliable on high-tech. Uh, bad news, we are completely reliable on high-tech, so we must uh, achieve our goals, we must be uh, competitors, we must be leaders and stay leaders. R&D as a percentage of GDP. Israel is a leader, worldwide leader, in R&D as a percentage of the GDP. 2.3 billion dollars has been raised in the first half of 2017 for, high -tech, for Israeli high-tech companies. 4.8 billion dollars have been raised uh, last year in 2016. And this is only the first half, 2.3 um, billion dollars. Uh, we are not a startup nation anymore. It's only part of the story. We are an innovation nation. There is much more than only startups in Israel. We have more than 300 R&D centers of multinationals uh, companies in Israel, by the way. All of them are members of the IATI. We work very closely with them. And 50% of the high-tech employees are employed by the multinationals today in Israel. And again, it's, only, it's not a startup nation anymore. It's not just multinationals, but it's also the growth companies. Uh, in the last 23 years, 31 companies in Israel are growth companies, $1 billion companies and more. Only in the last three years, we have new 16 Israeli companies reach $1 billion. Most of them are private, okay? So it's not only exits. It's not only that we sell companies outside of Israel. It's not that we're selling our IP and, um, and people take it outside. People are not only moving from Israel outside. We have Israeli companies today, big ones. So the IETI is the voice of the industry. As I said, we have 700 leading, leading members of all the ecosystem. That's what gives us the strength to act and to be the voice of the industry. So we promote and support the ITEC, uh, the entire ecosystem. So our members come from most of the VCs, uh, the Israeli one and the foreign ones operating in Israel, most of the multinationals in Israel in the level of the CEOs, the incubators, the accelerators, uh, the startups, uh, growth companies, service providers, municipalities, uh, countries from around the world, uh, and then um, uh, other um, entities uh, who are members in the IATI, of course, John and Lali sits here, thank you very much, you know, big supporters of the IATI and the, the rest of the ecosystem. And then we have the government, of course, so let's talk about the government for a second after I talk so much about other things. <sighs> government, okay, so this is how I see the Israel ecosystem. So we have the startups, we have the multinationals, we have the growth companies and we have the pillars and we have everybody that take care that this uh, ecosystem will move and uh, continue to grow. So we have the venture capital funds, and the investment fund, we have the investment banks, we have the military, we will not talk about the military now, I can talk about it for two hours, okay? We, we have the academia, 
and we just heard the, the academia. Thank you very much, Nimrod. Um, and we have the advisor, the legal advisor, the accounting, the, the rest of the advisor who uh, helps a lot. And then we have the government. We have challenges in Israel. I will just count three of them. One, um, we have a big challenge with a 10, 000, shortage of 10,000 uh, engineers. And we are pushing very hard in order to uh, uh, close this gap, long term and short term. Second, uh, we talked about $2.3 billion that has been invested in Israeli companies uh, in, 2000 and in the half, first half of the 2017. 96%, um, I hope I'm right, John, 96% of uh, this amount comes from foreign investors. Only 4% come from Israeli investors. The high-tech industry is one of the best industries in the world, but only 4% is invested from Israeli institutional investors. So we are trying to work on this as well. And the third uh, challenge, uh, keep and make sure that, it will, that Israel will be leader and continue to be leader and continue to be disruptive. So we, we work with the government to work on these challenges, to bring fast solution, to provide the solution to the government so we will have a better high-tech ecosystem. Uh, we work with most of the government. We work very closely, very closely uh, with the prime minister office, with the finance minister, with Kahlon, with the economic minister, with Eli Cohen, with the innovation authority. I just have a long talk today with Aaron Aaron, the CEO of the innovation authority. And since yesterday, we have a new uh, uh, chief scientist um, after a long time that we didn't have one, so uh, with him as well, and the Ministry of Education and we, with the other ministries, we must work, to get, we must work together. IATI is only a platform uh, with the voice of the industry. Uh, behind us stands all the industry and we must work together, private and public uh, sectors. I will just give uh, three examples uh, with the prime, that uh, we've done things with the, with the government lately, uh, this year with the prime minister office, uh, all the BEB issue, uh, the tax relief for MNCs in Israel, second, the green lane of foreign investors from China, uh, with the minister of finance, um, all that I talked about of promoting uh, um, investment from Israeli institution, we have a, a um, we do a lot with the Ministry of Finance working on that. Um, and with the Ministry of Education, for example, uh, because we would like to work on the issue of um, um, minimize the, the shortage of 10,000 Jajani, we work long term and short term. Long term, we work with the Ministry of Education. We are running the leading national cyber championship. Um, 300,000 pupils from 2,000 schools. And we do it uh, this year for the third year. Uh, we, do, we also work short term with the Ministry of Economy and the Ministry of um, Revacha, whatever, uh, welfare, thank you. So uh, uh, we, are running, um, uh, we are running a coding boot camp and we are working of 20 million um, shekels for two years, uh, bringing more people work for the high tech and train them, train them in the multinational, in the big company in order to have uh, better uh, work source in Israel. So this is only very small part of uh, what we do. Um, we cannot work, the, the, the private sector cannot work without the government. We should work and we must work together in order to um, uh, continue to be leaders. Uh, thank you very much. I'm here for you. I have a mobile phone and I have an email and I have all the social networks that we are on. Please go to the website, uh, contact us. Uh, we are here for you for anything you can. And thank you very much. Thank you very, thank you very much, Corinne.